If you're upgrading from a previous version of DCheck or Subdivide, this video will give you a quick overview of the new features and enhancements that you can look forward to in version 14. First up is drawing rotation. Now you can rotate the drawing to any position you wish. This was added so that you could more easily make odd shaped lots fit better on a printout. Other enhancements here include better zoom and pan control for printing. Just hold down the shift key and the drawing moves at a smaller increment. Hold down the control key and it moves at an even smaller increment. And unlike the previous version of the software, the plot scale that you set here no longer has any effect on the plot scale back in the main drawing. Next up, we have the arc text command, which lets you place text along a curve. You can place text on up to five concentric rings, both inside and outside of the arc, and even pull in curve information, such as delta, radius, arc length, and more. This version includes a new way to select objects when several objects are stacked on top of each other. For example, suppose I want to change this square symbol here to a circle. I'll click it, but instead I get the tree. I click it again, this time I get the boundary. Now, in version 14, all I have to do is hold down the Alt key when I click, and I get a complete list of all the items at that location. All I have to do is find the one I want, and it's selected for me. Arrowheads previously were only available in the subdivide program, and they were cumbersome to turn on and off as well. Now they're available in both programs and can be drawn just by holding down the control key when you draw the line with the mouse. Another nice little feature is that you can now reposition the label for attract simply by dragging it to its new desired location. And if you ever lose track of where the track label is, there's now a command on the properties screen to reposition it back to the center. Another handy change is that the collection of change commands down here at the bottom of the modify menu are now also available on the main toolbar. And what's more, the command to toggle annotations is the default for this button so you can now quickly use it with just a single mouse click. Other enhancements are a new zoom command, which lets you back up 20 previous zoom levels, and also new options that let you turn off the leading zeros and trailing azimuth notation for azimuths. You can also turn off the suffix for distances. For instance, if you're using meters and you don't want it to show the M at the end of each distance, you can turn them off here. The automatic deed reader and the DXF import export routines have been improved. And if your printer won't correctly print the dotted or dashed line types in your drawing, there's a new option to turn off the built-in windows line types, which is where the issue lies, and use deed checks built-in line types. The new version of Subdivide also includes some exciting new features. You can now place annotations above or below the line and also just show the bearing or just the distance. And you can even use the mouse to move an annotation. There are now also some new routines to subdivide a parcel. You can now quickly divide up a parcel nearly as fast as you can draw in the dividing lines. And there is also a new routine that can automatically divide a parcel into specified number of equal parts. Or you can specify a desired area and the routine will create as many parcels as will fit with the remaining area placed in the last one. Subdivide also includes a new drawing object called a block, which is much like a custom symbol. 
Now you can change your symbols and even make your own. These symbols also can contain data fields, which you can also control. The program comes with over 40 symbols that you can use right away and even customize if you want to. So be sure to check out these features in the video tutorials for a more detailed explanation of them.